Growing up, we were always told that milk is good for you. It will make you stronger and it will make you taller. The dairy industries have athletes, celebrities, and role models influencing us to drink milk with their gut milk commercials. <laughs> International Osteoporosis Foundation states that the United States and Europe account for 51% of all fractured incidents from osteoporosis. Also, the United States the Department of Agriculture states that the U.S. and Europe are the two countries that consume the most dairy milk and suffer the most cases of osteoporosis. In Dr. Axe's article, Milk is Bad for Your Bones, published in 2014, states that hip fractures will increase dramatically by the year 2050. In women, 240%, and in men, 310%. Think about it. We are that generation influenced most by dairy industries, and that could be you in the year 2050. We need to stop supporting dairy industries. They lie to us for their own greed. I'll go over why dairy is bad for you, the long-term benefits of not drinking dairy milk, and what we can do as a, as a group to stop supporting dairy industries. Let's begin why dairy is bad for you. If you don't already know, osteoporosis is a bone disease where your bones become brittle and fragile. A small accident such as a trip and fall could shatter your bones. In Chris Gunner's article, Is Dairy Really Good for Your Bones, published in 2015, states that dairy can cause osteoporosis because it is high in protein. The reason is when the protein is digested, it increases the acidity level in the blood. Therefore, the body, the body has to pull calcium from your blood in order to neutralize the acid. In the process, it's destroying your bones. Also, a 12-year-long Harvard Nurse Health study found that people who consume more milk had more fractured incidents or broken bones than individuals who rarely drank milk. This is a broad study based on 77,761 women from the ages 34 to 59. Not only could uh, high consumption of dairy milk could cause bone deficiency, it could also cause prostate cancer and ovarian cancer. Prostate cancer, this for men, of course, is a, well, it's a disease in which the cells in the prostate gland become abnormal and start to grow uncontrollably. This will cause burning pain and sometimes known as blood when you urinate. Harvard Physician Health Study followed 20,855 men for 11 years and found that those who had two and a half glasses of milk a day increased their uh, chances of getting prostate cancer by 34%. Uh, for women, ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is a is form in the ovary. It results in abnormal growth cells and have the ability to invade other, um, excuse me, um, other organs. You get symptoms like bloating, pelvic pain, change in bowel habits, and it needs to urinate every so often. It's not as convenient. Also, um, this is um, according to um, Harvard uh, scientists, uh, women who drink two, two or more glasses of dairy milk a day have 44% risk chance of, or 44 higher risk of getting ovarian cancer compared to those women who rarely drank milk. Doesn't those statistics make you want to keep drinking milk? No! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cut that. Okay, now that we've gone over the consequences of what it does to your body, let's go over the long-term benefits of not consuming dairy milk. Let me tell you a story about Jane Plant. Jane Plant is a scientist who was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1987. She had a lump on her neck the size of an egg. Uh, the doctors told her she only had months to live. She didn't let that discourage her. Jane wanted a solution. She questioned why Chinese women in China didn't get breast cancer. She, uh, after further research, she found that the Chinese women used a dairy-free diet and relied more on plant protein, plant, plant protein. Jane was a heavy consumer of milk. She gave it a shot, she had nothing to lose. Six weeks into her diet, the lump on her neck went away. Within a year of staying away from dairy, uh, uh, dairy milk, she was re-emission and remained cancer-free until today. Jane Plant states that going dairy-free can help stop the cause, could help stop the disease and the tracks by depriving the cancer cells of its condition they normally grow in. What you consume can make a huge difference in your health. Another benefit, uh, um, Another benefit is that it could save you in the long run. You may argue that going with a healthier diet is more expensive. Yes, it is, but so will your hospital be as well. Take the right action. Okay, a non-surgical broken bone treatment could cost up to $2,500 or more. Chemotherapy could cost up to $100,000 per year, and that's not including the drug treatment. Your medical insurance could only cover so much. Stop the problem before it occurs. Now that we've gone over the long-term benefits of not consuming dairy milk, let's go over how we can stop supporting dairy industries. You're probably thinking right now, we can't stop dairy industries. They're huge and they're funded by the government. 
They're funded by the government. Shutting down such a huge industry is almost impossible, but we can take small actions by simply not purchasing their products. Yes, ice cream is delicious, so is chocolate shakes, but you have to look at the bigger picture. Do it for your own health. There's other alternatives in getting your nutrition, calcium, protein, and vitamins. You have almond milk. Almond milk has the same amount of calcium as cow milk. Also, you have hazelnut milk, hemp milk, oat milk, rice milk. Um, uh, you can also eat broccoli, kale, tofu, the list goes on. Now you may argue that uh, one glass of dairy milk will get the job done quicker. Yes, one, it's a, <laughs> sorry, will get the job done quicker. Yeah, and you're also one glass closer to osteoporosis. Another way to, uh, another alternative to keep your bones healthy is simply exercising. Uh, exercising helps keep bones, in, uh, keeps, helps keep calcium in your bones. Weight-bearing exercise helps body resist gravity and stimulate cell growth. Another way is to simply staying away from smoking and drinking alcohol. I know we all live in a society where every weekend we just want to drink, party, or smoke, or whatever, but you got to keep yourself healthy, man. Okay, in conclusion, we've gone over why dairy is bad for you, the long-term benefits of how, of how a dairy milk could consume your body, and how we could stop supporting dairy industries. We immediately need to stop supporting dairy industries. They've lied to us since birth. I'm not saying that we have to protest outside of these, these factories or kidnap all their cows. I'm just simply proposing stop buying the dairy milk. Cat milk is for baby cats. Dog milks are for baby dogs. And cow milk, humans, think about it. Thank you.